Boom. What's up, guys? Spence Rifkin here once again with Team Associated. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some pro tips on the B6 series. Um, if you ever feel like when you go to the track with your car and you feel that your car is a little bit inconsistency driving-wise on the steering wheel, a little notchy to drive, or even really flippy, um, well, today's video, we're going to be showing you exactly how to fix that issue. And um, a couple of pro tips that I've learned over the years of experience, and a lot of it comes from the steering block and caster bar. I'm going to be showing you how to make it free. Uh, sometimes when you get a kit, it may or may not be free from the kit. Um, sometimes you get lucky from this batch to batch, just inconsistencies when shipping them and pack packaging them um, when they package and ship the kit. So not really a manufacturer's problem, just something that happens to occur um, when the shipping and handling stuff. So today's video, we're going to be showing you how I fix that. Alrighty, we're back. So as you can see here, this is a B6 steering block and caster block. Um, I'm trying to make this as free as possible. For those who have had or having steering inconsistencies, flipping off the track, and your car just doesn't just feel quite right, I guarantee you it's coming from the steering block and caster block. As you can see here, this isn't very free at all. Sometimes when you build them from the kit, um, the caster block is actually putting a little bit of pressure on the steering block, so it's not able to free um, fluidly through the whole steering st stroke. So right here is a prime example that um, the pro tip that I did to make it free as possible um, to have that consistent and smooth steering. As you can see, I didn't build this with any bearings or axle just to show you that it's just holding its own plastic steering uh, weight. Um, so pretty much this is the most important thing I think uh, about building the B6 is uh, making sure that this is as free as possible. So we're going to go into showing you how I accomplish that. As you can see here, uh, the ears on this caster block um, I actually want to bend these um, further apart just a little bit with a pair of pliers. Um, so I get that. I hold the inside and I kind of just bend up just slight, slightly. Do the same for the opposite side. Make sure you're grabbing it square on the casher block. Just so it pushes these um, a little bit further apart. Sometimes when you get these, you'll notice that they're a little bit faced in and they're a bit put pressure on the steering block. So we'll get my T-hat bushings, put those in, get my steering block. And you can notice right away with the steering block fits in super smooth and easy um, into the slot, then you'll know that it's going to be free. So we'll get the screws in. <clears throat> and screw in a little bit. Stop just before it, it stops. And uh, you can finish tightening them. Off with the 2.0. And there you go. Free as butter. So that's pretty much the idea behind it of just making it free. And uh, you're going to be better off having better consistency on the track and smoother and more predictable steering as well. Alrighty, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps you on the track. And uh, please comment, subscribe, and like. And uh, we'll see you next time.